it going? It's me, Crendor, and welcome back to more Warhammer painting. I'm experimenting with a new camera setup. I actually like it a lot. The problem is the camera sleep sleeps. It's it keeps slipping. <laughs> so it starts here and it starts going. But this is like the view that I've wanted for a while. You know, the like kind of downward angled view. It's not you know full on down, and it's not front facing. It's just the you know, I guess, is it a bird's eye view? I don't even know, but it's like an angled bird's eye view, and I like it a lot. I think it's perfect. So I'm trying to get it to stay, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, either way, how you doing? I've been working on a lot of rats for Hot Rat Summer. Obviously, a new Skaven book came out. I'm also be doing a lot of Sylvaneth, but I've been doing a lot of rats as of late. So I figured we'd keep going with some rats. This is the Thankful I've been working on. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how he's... Uh, turned out so far. Uh, he's actually just been a lot of contrast paint and dry brushing so far. Uh, but I've also done some brass, uh, you know, there and done like some belt work and uh, that's been that's been the primary stuff. I'm probably gonna paint this red, this little cloak thing, and then I think on the back I might do a lot more brass as well for all this stuff. So and I don't know what I'm gonna paint these tubes? I don't know. I might just look on the internet on what other people paint uh, their tubes with, but we'll see. So, I figured I'd just do a nice little thankful painting stream just to kind of test this out, see if the camera's working well, and uh, just, you know, just paint. Also, here's my uh, Plague Priest I've been working on. He's been coming along nicely. Uh, I've I've hit him with normal and contrast paint, so his cloak is normal paint. Uh, you can tell because it's a lot, I think, smoother and kind of, you know, shinier, I guess. <laughs> Is that how you say it? But uh, I've also got his little thing here, his bell. Uh, got some shading in there. And then his face, you know, I kind of, I gave him like a Plague Bear flesh shade. So I, I hit him with like normal Gulliman flesh and then I did a Plague Bear flesh over that to give him like a yellowy plague disease look to him because i was like you know this is a this is a plague priest like this dude is not going to be looking healthy he's going to be looking diseased because he loves disease so he's got the nurgle spikes like the plague spikes coming out top as well so i, I just have to do some painting on this little you know incense disease shaker warp stone disease and then uh do some touch-ups and then probably just hit it the, hit the base uh, I don't know what I'm going to base a lot of these rats with. I might just do standard base. I might do some warp stone cracked floors. I've seen that looking cool, so we'll see. Either way, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, do I have a red? I have flesh terrors red, which I really like using for a lot of cloaks. So I think I'm going to use that for his cloak down here. Give it a good shake. Yep, yep, yep. Shake that paint. I think the lighting looks pretty good, too, at this angle, so hopefully the camera can stay uh, like this. Uh, I'm going to also swap some paints into my paint holder that's right here to make sure they don't spill if you knock them over. That's pretty important. Get some water. Uh, bring this paper towel over, dry this, and neat. Okay, so let's go ahead. God, this brush is so, <laughs> this brush I use for shading is so shitty. I need a new one. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna swap over to, this one's a little better. It's not as beat up. It's still a little banged up, but I'm gonna get a little water on it first. All right, got some paint. And then, just kind of paint down here. I kind of wanted to see how it looks first. I actually do like it, so we're going to go a bit heavier. And then just try to spread it all out before it dries, because that's when contrast is hard to work with after the drying processes hit 
Uh, back, let's get a little more here. Kind of come in from the side. The thing is, I know I'm going to get some on his fur and uh, those chains. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? Give me a little blap. There we go. And then whoop. And then whoop. Okay, that's actually not bad. It's better than I thought. <laughs> uh Okay, now the the struggle here <laughs> is getting it uh, underneath these chains, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we are so far. So far, not too bad. Um, let's see, can I just kind of... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, it's fine. All right, I'm going to have to angle this a little bit for up here. And... All right. Not bad. Now I'm going to have to... <laughs> now I have to get under there, which is going to be the hard part. I'll, maybe I'll do the back first. Kind of hit the sides a little bit. A little bit under here. All right. In fact... Uh... There we go. So, okay, that's the front. I do like the way that looks. So we're going to go to the back now. A little more. And you're not going to be able to see this, but that's fine. Just really spread it out. It's fine if it's not too great. It's the back part of him anyway. Okay. There you go. You can see under there now. Hold on, can you get a better view? There you go. See, it's pretty good. Not bad at all. A little side paint there. A little bit back here. There you go. Dude, Thankful's so good now, too. I played a game last week with the new Thankful. He's insane. Like, he heals. He he does um, two commands for one. So he gets a... If he does, like, an all-out attack, you can give all-out attack to someone else as well for free. But you can do that with Inspiring Presence. Your rats don't run away. Um, I gave him... Technically, he has two of each weapon, but I went with the four Warp Fire Throwers just to experience it. And I went against a bunch of Saurus Warriors and Temple Guard, and he did like 90 mortal wounds. It was actually insane. So, I love, and he casts on, uh, he gets plus three to casting, and if he's by a gnaw hole, he gets plus four to casting. So, he's also pretty insane casting. He's just, he's insane now. So, I've been, uh, I've been inspired to paint Thankful up, essentially. Um, all right, so this is gonna probably get on. The chains, but that's fine. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm kind of gonna just wiggle this around back there, see as much as I can get, and then I'm gonna quickly clean the brush off. All right, it was like emergency surgery. <laughs> clean that off. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got time. We got time. Then just kind of. Get it off before it dries. Uh, Alright, so it made the chains look a little red stained, which could be blood. So it's not the worst. <laughs> Plus, it's really hard to tell anyway. Plus, I can just go over with the silver again. It'll be fine. I'd rather um, make sure that the little behind him parts are filled in. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
It's looking good. Let's see if I can just get in here. Do a tiny bit more on the and then just kind of wiggle it around. All right, so there we go. So you can see here, you can see how it's a little, you can see on the, the chains how it's a little red now. But I've got the whole uh, cloak part filled in, or I don't know what it is. Uh, what's it called? Uh, not a satchel, not a sash. Uh, loincloth. It's kind of like a loincloth, honestly. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, all right, so I'm going to set that aside, close this paint, and we're going to go ahead and bust out. What am I going to bust out here? I think we're going to bust out the Iron Hand Steel, or maybe even Grey Knight Steel. Which one? Uh... I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna mix them together. Let's get a little wacky wild. <laughs> Let's go wacky wild in here. Okay. Bring this back over. I'm gonna get this brush. Alright, that should be good enough. Blue Grey Knights first. Hang a little bit. This one's it's gotta be shaking more. I tried getting one of those shaker things, and I got a really cheap one, and it literally just vibrated. <laughs> like, it didn't do anything. I was like, I'm better off just shaking it, so I'm sending it back. Uh, I'm sure, like, the good ones, you gotta pay, like, I paid, like, 40 bucks or something. You probably gotta pay, like, a few, a hundred or two. But I'd rather just shake it at that point. Unless it does a real good job. Alright, let's see how we're doing now. Uh, okay, much better, much better. Much better. Oh, yeah. It needed that. <laughs> there we go. So that's the brighter one, so we don't need a whole lot of that. And then, go ahead and mix it with the Iron Hand Steel. I'm gonna give that a bit of a shake, too. Okay. And that one's pretty good. Drop some of that. And drop a little more. Okay. Make sure it's closed. Uh, I'm actually really excited for the new contrast paints that are coming. Um, I'm pretty sure GW is also sending me them. <laughs> so I'm even more excited. <laughs> Uh, so I'm definitely gonna make a video going through all of them. And then the, apparently the new shades, I've heard from like a bunch of people, uh, and seen YouTubers and stuff talk about them, are really good. Like the new shades are amazing. So I'm really excited to try out the new shades as well. Um, I'm trying to hold off on even shading a lot of things, because I'm like, if these new shades are good, mama mia, I'll just use those. I don't want to shade yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, alright, so, here we go. Tiny bit of water. I'm going to mix these together. See how well this works. Take a little bit to mix. Alright, this should be good. So now, let's go back. Let's just kind of... Woo, that is shiny. In fact, I'm gonna have to like, uh, I mainly just want to hit a lot of the, um, parts that either didn't get painted well or they got hit by the red. Like right in here. I, 
could actually just dry brush this, but I don't trust myself to like <laughs> be that precise in there and not get some on other parts, you know what I mean? Uh, let's just get in here. There we go. There we go. All right. So now if you look, you don't see any more red and it's a bit shinier. So that is nice. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I could paint with this while I've got it out? That's the question. Uh, I guess I could paint some like metal parts. Um, I can even paint like his foot. I don't know if I want his foot to be this color though. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I kind of do. It's kind of like robotic metal. Let's see. Do I like this? <laughs> uh. Just gonna do a little bit here to see. It's okay. Uh, maybe not. I might paint it something else. We'll see. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, these chains up here. I forgot about about all these chains. Some of them already have like uh, different contrast uh, bronze colors on them. Just paint over that. There we go. Nice. A little bit there. And then... A little bit up top. Like, I'm not gonna shade this in until I get the new shades. Uh, very good. Nice. Oh, I got some on his cloak thing. That should... It'll come out in the wash. Alright, let's get a little on his, like, actual... stuff down here as well. Some of it I missed when I went over it the first time. And some of it got hit by some, uh... by some other paint. I don't know I said that so southern. Some of it got hit by some other paint. <laughs> sure did. Alright. Couple cows short of a steak. All right, let's get under here. So it looks like a lot of paint got messed up underneath. Just gonna make sure that's all better. A little bit in here, a little bit over here. A little more. Let's see. Looks good. A little bit up top. Especially because the light... Oh yeah, back here is really messed up. The light would also be hitting it, so it should be brighter anyway. Okay. There we go. Just be careful. And very nice. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Uh, what about? Oh, definitely need some over on this side. Yeah. Uh oh, I hit the camera. <laughs> Don't start falling, camera. Don't start falling. Oh, I didn't even paint on this side. What am I doing, dude? I didn't even paint like the opposite side of these chains. Or even the sides of them. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Nah, oh, I still got a little bit back. Like, way back here. There we go, that should be good enough. 
if anybody's looking this close <laughs> at that point, I'm going to be like, yo, get away from him. <laughs> get off of my cloud. There we go. Nice. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Then, uh, I think I might do some more bronze. Or I might even start painting uh, Thankwell up top. I actually think if he had a red cloak too and match that, it would kind of be a really cool mirror match type of thing. Kind of complement each other. I'm going to do that. I'm going to paint his cloak the same red. Plus, I think red and green look well together. Obviously, things like Christmas and whatever and color wheels, but I, I think that's going to look good. So let's do that. Wait, did I use this brush or this one? This will be fine. <laughs> Alright, let's shake this up again. Alright. Okay. It's just really nice being able to use a variety of different paints, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to just use strictly normal paints or strictly contrast. It's nice to just learn them all and then kind of have everything in your tool belt. Uh, at your disposal, essentially. So, let's go ahead and start up here. I want to be careful around his horns. Let's keep this moving. Make sure I don't miss some spots there. All right. Oh yeah, this is gonna look good. I can already tell this is gonna look great. Oh, I didn't even paint his tail. I didn't even paint that rat tail. Don't get paint on that tail, me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh. I got out of the. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, you, have, you always know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's just where is it going to happen at? All right. Round two. A little more inward now. Only doing the top part. Do the bottom part after. A little more. Top edge. Very nice. Okay. A little more to drop in the little crevice over here. Looking good. Am I going quiet? Because I'm just trying to focus. <laughs> That's how you know. Alright, here we go. Like, normally I can talk and do stuff, but like, when it gets to making sure you don't get bright, or I guess, you know, blood red paint on other parts of a model that you've already painted, so you're kind of like, eh. <laughs> I don't want to go back and correct that. You know, it's worth doing the old uh, breath hold. Okay. And then, let's go do... This part. Some in there. Some here, start going down. There's nothing to really mess up over here, luckily. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh. A little bit here. And very nice. A little bit of white part there, cover that. Okay. <laughs> Making progress. Let's see if I can oh boy. Get in here. Okay. 
I didn't mess anything up, but I didn't get much. My shaky hands not helping. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit more. Oh boy, we're getting the precision town now. Population, I hope me. Woo-wee. Okay. Not bad. I got some on his the tip of his sword. That's kind of whatever. It's fine. And then, oh god, can I like... I don't even know if you can see this. I don't even care right now. <laughs> this is like... We're doing surgery. Yeah. I got it. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna need a beer after this one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's get under here. Down. Looking good. Let's see if we get a little back there. It's good. Okay. A little bit up there. Got it. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a part where it's like... I can do that. <laughs> Eventually. Let's see if I can just... Oh my god, alright. Alright, I kinda got some parts of it. Let's get a little more. I can Okay. It's not bad. I think I need a nice like big glue part and then drop it in. There we go. Okay. Okay, this isn't this is actually coming together. Um You know, I'm going to go ahead and just do the the under parts. Should be like back here. Back here. Some more. Okay. <laughs> Why we? Very nice. This is actually going better than I thought it would, to be honest. A little bit. There we go. Get underneath this part. This one's a little tricky. It's all a little tricky, but yeah, you know, that's part of the fun. Okay. I'm gonna get under here. I got some on the tail. Repeat, got some on the tail. Uh, alright, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Alright, emergency cleanup, emergency cleanup. Wee woo, wee woo. 
Uh, tail, tail. Doctor, it's not coming off. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Get a little scrape. Get a little scrape. Maybe a little water over it. Then we dry. Maybe take a little dry brush or something to scrape it. Here we go. Nah. Although it's kind of, it's in a decent spot to where you can't really see it. You have to like look at it from that angle. I mean, it's, it's easy to correct. It'll be fine. It's not a huge deal. All right. Now we go back to work in the front. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop. I got it on the staff. All right. Right away. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and. Get that off of there. All right, good. Good as new. Very nice. <laughs> Back we go. Oh boy. Well, I got a lot in here. Okay. Hey, I probably get a little back there, <laughs> and then a little. Down here. Actually, I'm just going to need... Whoop. More paint in general here. There we go. That'll do it. I may have just brushed up on something else. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, no, we're good. Whoo! That was scary. Okay. So if I can just get this last part over here. Well, I'm gonna have to like shake this again. Alright. Then I think <laughs> I'll be good for now. I think that'll be a good thankful session. Alright. Start up top. I got some on the thing. Alright. Hold on. Where'd it go? There it is. Honestly, it's fine. It's like barely noticeable. All right, back we go. Oh my God, what am I doing? All right. <laughs> uh, man down, man down, water. Hold on. All right. All right. Paper towel. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You can't even see it. Woo! What am I doing out here? <laughs> My God. All right. Back we go. <laughs> Okay. Go up top. One more. Go a little down low. It's looking good. Uh, I just got a. Get it 
from the underside. Okay. It's actually not too bad. Woo! I'll just quickly do a little check here. <laughs> I can probably hit it's like a little bit underneath in his arm. There we go. Did I get any on his arm? No. Woo! <laughs> okay. So. There's like, oh, there's like one. <laughs> I'm gonna clean this first. All right, we got one more mission here. One more mission. All right. I didn't care if all the paint's off. I'm using the same paint. Just want to be precise. We're gonna paint right in this like little crevice area. Okay. Okay, okay. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. This is <laughs> crushing my skin. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is big. Alright, I got a little on the horn. That's fine. Alright, not bad. Now I can just quickly do this. Clean it off and kind of clean the horn part a bit. Honestly, it's not even that bad. Like if you look there, I tried to get in like that little horn area. You can't even really tell. And like I can just layer over it. It'll be fine. So. <laughs> Hold on here, let me show you what we did. So we did that down here, and then the cloak up top. And I think it looks really good from the back. All the vibrant red kind of flowing out. And then when I dry brush it after it's dry and kind of make it highlight and pop a bit more and I complete some of his other bits, I think it's gonna look pretty good. Even right now, if he's on the table, he's not too bad. I gotta paint his tail as well, but I he's looking pretty solid, so, uh, yeah. Neat. So, thanks for, uh, <laughs> sticking with me as I attempt to paint Thankful and not lose my mind. Uh, but I think I succeeded. So, I'm gonna go probably have a beer, chill out, and I'm probably gonna build rats, honestly. I still have a bunch of building. Actually, I gotta build a bunch of Sylvanette stuff, too, but... Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm trying to do some more of these building or uh, not building but painting Videos even if they're only like, you know, 30 40 minutes. I think that's a pretty good time frame for a uh, paint along type thing um, but I don't know. I like throwing these up here and there on the channel since Obviously not everybody's like oh, what's the latest news on Age of Sigmar? Or what's the rules for the new battle tome? You know what I mean? Uh, so I do like doing these and it's fun and it gives me some time to paint stuff and get stuff done. So uh, Thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time Okay Okay So you <laughs>